For our next curious destination, we have the old Customs House that was built between 1836 and 1838. This awesome little square that I have all to myself here today, that is Place Royale, the very first public square in all of Montreal. But what is the most curious is beneath us, because you would never guess, X marks the spot, that just 15 feet below your feet, you can see this amazingly well-preserved archaeological site where Montreal actually began back in the 1600s. That's right, La Place Royale is where Champlain set up his fur trading post back in 1611. And here, in 1642, is where Ville-Marie was, the very birthplace of Montreal. This is amazing. So right above our heads, uh, we have uh, people enjoying Place Royale. Yes. Tourists or locals, and they may or may not know that just a few feet below them, we are standing where Montreal all began. Exactly. They're standing there as tourists, as you said, enjoying an uh, urban place. But underneath, you know, it took a lot of engineering to do that. We have layers of history. The Ponta Calier Archaeology Museum was named after Chevalier Louis Hector de Calier, third governor of Montreal, whose home was on the spot in 1688. This is an amazing underground museum and functioning archaeological dig. You are literally walking blocks under the city. You can see everyone's feet above. And from down here, you're walking through six centuries of Montreal history. It's like a giant puzzle. It is like a giant puzzle. Um, and it's kind of the layers on top of layers of history. You can exactly. see it all right here. You'll see Montreal's first cemetery with the graves of natives and French settlers, and also Montreal's first marketplace. It's fantastic. So Ville-Marie was uh, in the 1600s, then we have remnants of the 1700s here, and 1800s there? Exactly, you have, um, exactly, 1642, Fort Ville-Marie, the city developed here. The walls, it's 1744, when it was completed, you are traveling through time here. So we have a public square, modern day, above us, and one of the original public squares here, down below as well. Exactly. The above ground building is a wonderful curiosity too. Huh? This 1992 ultra modern building is actually an homage to the beautiful Victorian Customs House, which stood here from 1860 to 1951. You can see how the designer mimicked the triangular shape with a tower at its center and a clock in just about the same spot. 